Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from, for variety, Cook with Soup by Heinz of 1977, we're going to be making the tuna berry sandwich. Uh, last week, 70s Dinner Party posted this on their account, and a lot of you tagged me, a lot of you sent it to me, and I thought, you know what? This is weird. Let's try it. <laughs> First thing we got to do, toast some bread. While the bread's toasting, let's make our filling. Flaked tuna from a can, mayonnaise, and diced celery. So far, not bad. Now we heat up some condensed cream of chicken soup with a little milk. Okay, and then we butter our toast. Top our toast with the tuna, celery, and mayonnaise mixture. Then top that with slices of jellied canned cranberry sauce. Oh, but we're not done. That's because now we have to bake it at a 350 degree oven for about five minutes. I'm only doing one sandwich, so it's probably less than that. And now, of course, we pour a quarter cup of our chicken milk mixture over top. I know what you're thinking. This is going to be a knife and fork affair, isn't it? Nope. All right, let's give this tuna berry sandwich a go. So I kind of get what they were going for here, but I don't understand why they would call for tuna instead of just canned chicken or just chicken. Because um, if you do that, then you've got kind of a quasi Thanksgiving thing with the cranberry sauce and the soup. It's not horrific. It's not the best thing I've ever had. I do want to try and plus it up. Well, you knew it was going to make an appearance at some point on Sandwiches of History. I got here a frozen serrano pepper that I'm going to grate over. Okay, let's give this tuna berry sandwich plus up with a little grated serrano pepper a go. That is better. Brings the heat, brings a little uh, chili flavor. Mm. Both of which are working really well with the cranberry and cut through the soup and the uh, mayonnaise in here. All right, so before we get into the sandwich, uh, when I posted that reaction video to the woman grating jalapeno that was frozen and saying that it was brilliant, a lot of folks wrote it and said you should just dehydrate it and you'd have powder and it'd be fine. Well, I don't have a dehydrator. It's one more step. I just toss that in the freezer and I'm going to toss it in the freezer again and use it again sometime and it'll be just fine. So I get it, but this is pretty convenient. The original tuna berry sandwich was weird. I mean, Heinz was trying to promote the soups they used to sell, um, but then why bother calling for tuna? They didn't call for a specific brand of tuna, so why not call for chicken? It would make more sense. I'm definitely going to finish that because I don't feel like it's trash can worthy, but it wasn't great. Plus, not a big fan of heating up the cranberry uh, like that. I, I don't know. It's edible. It's fine. I'll give it a four and a half. Plus, up with the frozen serrano pepper. That was pretty nice. A little grassiness, a little uh, heat. I'm going to give that a five and a half. I'm definitely going to finish that, but I will never make it again. If I want cranberry in my sandwich, I'll just uh, make the moist maker. Or even better yet, my recipe remix of the moist maker, which you should go look up. All right, time for lunch. See you tomorrow. Oh.